Hello, it's Arm, and welcome to the Fiery Path for those who dared. Um, last week's episode, we did a um, an Easter egg with the Slowpoke Tail cells, or a while back. But uh, not all Easter eggs are visual. I'm in uh, Mile City. And if you listen very carefully, the melody here is very similar to the flute music in the second Pokemon movie. It's not an exact copy, but it's there. So let's take a little listen for a little bit. Should be coming up pretty soon here. Right there. I'm going to link the, um, a video to that in uh, the description below so you can check it out for yourself. And the other point in this video is this visual um, up here with the bridge here. Obviously the game's been out for a while so the people call this Nugget Bridge, beat us five tra trainers, and win a fabulous prize. I think you got what it takes. Um, now, this trainer is verbatim, almost, saying what the first trainer at Nugget Bridge in the Kanto region. Gen 1 says, beat us five trainers, win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes. The only difference is it's a bug catcher in uh, Kanto, not a rising star. But if he does have the Caterpie, He does indeed have the Caterpie. It's at a higher level than the Caterpie at the uh, other thing, at the Kanto region, but it is a Caterpie. And a Weedle, just like in the original games. It's a really, really uh, awesome throwback to the original games. Uh, lately the generational the generations have uh, hearkened to one another really well actually in my opinion. Especially between Gen uh, with Gen 6 and Gen 7. I just can't get over this music though. And he says, I did my best, I have no regrets, which is the line that all of those on Nugget Bridge in the original games say. Second, now I'm serious, again, exactly what the last trainer said in Gen 1. With Pidgey, just like in Gen 1. So that's uh, again a really nice touch that they put in there, putting in little gems like this, like I did with the last uh, Easter egg thing with the uh, Slowpoke tails. 
if you haven't watched that video yet, go for it. I'll link that in the description, maybe put it in an annotation on the screen somewhere. I don't remember if she had a knitter in or not. I think she may have. And again. I did my best, I have no regrets. I'm not gonna do that for everyone, but whatever. Number three. Again. This is a youngster. The Rattata, of course. Um, three pokes. No, not what I meant to do. Haha, <laughs> it failed because I didn't use an attack. Oops, I misclicked. As usual. No, that won't work because I use an attacking move. Alright. Not switching. Ekans. Believable. It's a Gen 1 card of mine. Uh, oops. Oh well. It's at a high enough level, it should not get pretty close. Yep, again. After this battle, he's probably going to say, I did my best to have no regrets. Oh, so close. I forget who I have in my party. Besides type null. I'm trying to uh, evolve all of these Pokemon I have in here almost, so. And there's the Zubat, just like he has. The originals. Of course, in the original games, they did not have uh, names. They would just say identified by their trainer class. They're just last. It doesn't. They didn't have a, a name per se. You're the youngster. Yes, you did get stumped. So. I did my best, I have no regrets. And then we've got Getting Tired, I'm number four. Which is almost exactly what she says. Like another lass. There's two Pokemon. Did you, I think another Nidoran, and they have, they're going to have higher levels on this one, on these two. but only slightly. Just like in the originals, again, the original games were the cornerstone, so they need, they uh, must feel that they need to pay homage to them. And this is their uh, own unique way of doing it, and it's working pretty well for us, uh, folks who grew up with Generation 1. And again, no regrets. Alright, let's do another, another battle going. Another rising star, Sean this time, with one Pokemon. Uh, this was not original. Sorry about that 
if it cut out on you. Didn't mean that to happen. Dang. Okay, uh, so. I know it's not going to be effective, very effective, but it'll be effective enough. Yikes. Well, that did a little bit more damage than I wanted it to, but oh well. Type no will survive. Yep, I knew it. Uh, too much. 40 for winning. I am going to give my type no a left berry. Don't you worry about that. I have no problems. Congratulations, you beat our best five trainers. You earned a fabulous prize. I got a nugget. A big nugget, because big nuggets didn't exist in Gen 1. So I had to ch change that. By the way, would you like to join Team, Ro Team Rocket, where a group dedicated to evil using Pokemon? Want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay. You need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse, which is the exact dialogue of the um, Team Rocket Grunt at the end of the tunnel, of that the particular bridge. Sorry, I'm dropping things. Hmm. Alright, so Veteran Dawn challenged me. With an Ekin move, which is what that particular trainer in Gen 1 had. One of them, anyway. And a Zubat, which is also very believable that uh, he had one in Gen 1. Alright. So I got some money. He says, with your ability, you could become top leader of, uh, top leader in Team Rocket, which is what he says, just kidding, man, Team Rocket fell apart years ago. No point in telling you you gotta join Team Rocket, right? We're just having fun, pretending we're just like those five on um, Nugget Bridge, yeah? Boy, I wonder what old Giovanni, Mr. Giovanni, is up to now. He was bo the boss of Team Rocket then, and then they're gone, just as quickly as they are there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little video, I know it's getting a little long, but uh, there are more than just visual uh, tidbits of uh, Easter eggs in games, you gotta go for the visual, the audio as well. Thank you for daring to uh, to enter the fiery path. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, like the video, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. I also have a Twitch. Uh, currently, I have a goal for Twitch to reach four hundred dollars for stream layout upgrades as well as uh, YouTube upgrades for layouts and whatnot. Um, if you want to donate, 
follow me on Twitch to know when I'm live. You don't have to donate when I'm live, but if you'd like to, that would be great. I use this layout for that as well. The goal will be in the bottom left hand corner down there. Oops. Camera will help. And next above it will be the um, little tip jar thing that uh, they've released. If you want to see a visual representation of it as well. I'm also I'm doing a, a shiny ditto SLS chain right now, a challenge thing. I'm going to get 60 of them to give to you guys who donate more than $6. So if you'd like to get a shiny ditto from me, or just one in general, donate that $6. Or seven dollars if you'd like. Get me closer to that goal and get me going. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.